वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी गोना मेक दिस ब्यूटीफुल स्लाइडर यूजिंग वर्डप्रेस एंड स्लाइडर रेवोल्यूशन प्लगइन सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो तो लाइक दैट यू कैन सी दैट इन दिस वेबसाइट आई हैव दिस ब्यूटीफुल स्लाइडर व्हिच इज मेड यूजिंग स्लाइडर रेवोल्यूशन here we have a beautiful left and right arrows from which you can move from left to right by using this and uh, this have a, uh, and this have a beautiful animation in the text and also in the slide when it comes so let's begin by making this type of slider similar type of slider so so okay uh, this is my website where i am going to make this slider so you can see that uh, at this time i don't have any slider uh, this is a normal this is a normal website so for this uh, so for uh, making this slider we want some plugins uh, like slider revolution that's it and okay so slider we have to go to this slider revolution overview so after going here uh, choose the new blank module so we want some photos for this so download those pics which you want to use in this slider okay so here is the guide if you want to see the guide start guide i don't want to see the guide i don't want this so this is a panel here we have to make a slider so first we have to make the photos so you have to came here then type go to image and media gallery and drop the wallpaper which you want to use for your slider here i have downloaded some architect wallpaper from unsplash so i'm going to use this here so let's wait for importing this images okay images are now imported so let's start with this so once you select that it will came here okay here you can select its or size according to you so this is a first layer so you yeah, uh, you have to go there add layer quick style heading quick style heading uh, choose the style you want i am going to use this i'm going to use this edit this click, click on this here write anything welcome to my web welcome to this right welcome to okay so let's make this little bold so go to style and this is for bold uh, let's make it 600 semi bold okay Uh, minimize the size okay. okay let's add another bigger text so for bigger text i'm going to use uh, this options here uh, so here add a name for your website anything i am just writing slider slider one my so make it so bigger okay so adjust the size according to you okay uh, so let's add uh, some dummy text to content dummy content so here i'm going to use uh, this poppins so it don't give us dummy content so we have to get those dummy content just copy this and cancel this and here go to the content and paste it here So dummy content came. Make it little bigger according to you. Okay, here is our dummy content. Let's add a button by going to this. Choose the style you want. I'm going to use this. Drag it below the button. If you want to change the name of this, go to here by clicking here. Then go to content and read more. No. Okay. this is the our first slide 
okay make it little bold name here so let's preview let's first save it sort of sort of saving this line let's preview it how it's looking so you can see that here our slider is uh, have a bigger height so we have to make this height smaller approx 700 uh, pixel in height and this should be in the center so let's fix it so for making this height smaller go to your setting then default i think no default is not content yeah content yeah layout here you have to set the height the current height is 900 pixel to make it 700 that's okay so you can see that the height is so make it in the center by dragging here here you know, drag it also drag it also so let's preview it so it's looking perfect now so just we have to add some animations to the page okay then we will duplicate the slides and change the photos okay so for adding the animation in uh, uh, slide we have to go here then choose animation here you can see that there are so many animation columns it came it give animation in the column rows boxes random random animation will give so here i am going to choose column let's go for column slide go and then check which animation you want so this is the animation we are using here you can see that okay so i am going to change i am going to I'm going to use some different animations here. So, uh, let's use this type of animation. Some choose the animation which you want. Here you can see that there are so many animations. So, let's go for this auto direction. Let's choose it and just save it. So, let's preview. You can see that our animation is added here. Let's add the animation in the text. Just click the text. Let's click the text, and uh, after clicking the text, you have to go in animation. Here came to in, and you can choose your custom. No, to go for block transition. No, don't go for block. Later transition is there. So you can choose. There are so many animations there. You can choose according according which you want. So I'm going to use this. Uh, let's okay this happens sometimes okay there okay. you go in here also i'm gonna use uh, yeah this one okay so for this also uh let's use some pop-up type of animation So use this and for read more button we're gonna use the animation too so here I'm gonna use uh, rotate okay this is good so let's save it so our first slide is ready you can adjust according to you the size and columns you want style according let's preview it so you can see that our, our animation is working fine you can uh, change the speed also time also okay so this is our first slide is ready so let's duplicate this slide by going to here just duplicate the slides so we have the second slide let's change the name slider let's make it two so we can know that this is our next slide let's change this image so for changing the image go to here and then go to background then go to media library and choose the different image so yeah, i'm going to use this image in slider 2 so let's duplicate it again this is your third slide came just click it and make it here 3 okay and uh, just change its name name is already changed so let's save it Okay, we have to change its image also. I think uh, I shouldn't uh, yeah. have to change the image. 
so let's go to background media library let's choose this image okay like image has been changed just save the slide and next we are gonna duplicate it again so we want 4 slides so this is your 4 slides just rename it okay okay, wait. okay. slide 4 mine let's change this image to meta library choose this right last one image yeah so this is done just save those slides and if you want to change its anime uh, slide slider speed you can go to default here is 900 millisecond change it to uh, 5 enter okay now it save it okay now preview it so you can see that this is a basic basic slider which we had uh, which we have made so here we don't have uh, arrows for left and right so let's add those arrows so for adding those arrows uh, we have to go to settings and uh, okay, here here we have to he, uh, here we have many options bullets tabs thumbs so i'm going to use the arrows that's on it so here so here you can see that there are so many arrows option choose the one according to you uh, I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose this uh, like this. Okay, I'm gonna choose. Uh, choose, choose, choose like this, like this. Okay, let's choose. Let's choose. Like okay, I'm gonna choose this. Let's save it. So let's preview the our slides. It is showing or not? So here you can see that this is showing. Yeah, this is working fine. So our basic slider for the website is ready. Now let's add this website to our. Now let's add this slide to our website. So, so just refresh the website here and edit with Elementor. Here. Uh, so you can see that our slide is ready. So we have to just add this to our website. So let's wait for to open this. So here do learn more. Go to no re, no we don't want this right now. So here at a new section at the top, take this. Okay, then go here and search for uh, search for slider revolution six. Just drag it here. Okay, so it's gave you option. Choose that. So here you can see that we have added that, that the slides, but uh, it's showing a little bit gap here and there so for fixing that do one thing make it full width column gap no gap and make it stretch okay now save it okay now save it okay i think this is works now refresh your website okay so here you can see that we have made a slide it is working fine okay actually this is uh, actually we have the navbar which is coming over that so that's why it is uh, looking like it is also included in the slider but if you don't make this type of navbar then it will show the perfect okay so this is perfect so for this let's add a, uh, okay wait let's add a simple background color so that it will visible to you accordingly okay let's update this so let's refresh the website so we have just refreshed the website and you can see that our slide is added below so this is looking very fine and working perfectly so like this you can make a very simple and basic slider for your website for your client Okay, so if you like our video, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.